Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... How is everybody doing today, tonight? This is Hump Day Wednesday. And child, I gotta talk about Miss Marlo Patrice Hampton. Living that Hollywood sort of lifestyle on the cusp of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and her becoming a full-time peach holder. Honey, she was on Candace Speak on it. Show and she was just giving a 411 on her relationship with Portia, her relationship with Kenya, uh, Shamia, and all this great stuff. But we're gonna talk about in this particular video about Marlo and Portia. Now, Portia allegedly got it in with Bolo when she was supposed to be on and off again with Dennis McKinley. And I think that's what Mama Jean was saying. You had got down with Bolo, so you cheated. And my son cheated. Y'all both was cheated. Cheating. But anyway, Milo was kind of good friends with, um, or it seemed to be, they were good friends with Portia. And honey, when we were just, when I was just listening to the tape, I don't know if it was old or it was a mixture of old and new, but at the time, it can't be that old because Candy just really started her YouTube channel, I think last year, uh, speak on it, right? So maybe they would just insert in clips here and there, past and present, past and present and future. Well, not future, but you know, where we are today. And. <clears throat> How Marlo tell it is that her and uh, Portia's relationship went to shitsville when she started trying to be in a forgiving mood towards Kenya, and <laughs> it was it was a, it's still just a hot mess for me not understanding that Portia is uh seemed to be uh friends with anybody that sees things her way. And not necessarily if they oppose someone she don't like. She think they supposed to not like them either. But Marlo is an Aquarius such as myself. And we don't get down like that. Whoever we like, we like. And if that person offends us, then we have to think about second guessing that relationship or not. Just depending on what it was and how it ended up being. And whether it's old. Oh, uh, okay thing to pursue something in the future so i'm kind of like that with marlo you hurt me once shame on me you hurt me twice shame on you it ain't gonna be no third strike okay this is what it is and we're gonna move on expeditiously in my ti voice but honey baby i did not know that portia was so temperamental and she has that little staple uh you can't be friends with this person if i'm not friends with them you know that kind of kid elementary high school type mentality i'm like uh portia 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 we're all adults here and i guess she thought that whatever she thought confided in marlo at the time when they were real close she was going to tell kenya and they were going to be using it against her on the show but it really didn't pan out that way because marlo got a mouth anyway and if you hurt her she's going to be throwing out daggers at you because she didn't really expect for you to treat her a certain way when she's been treating you a certain way so it's kind of like yeah don't mess with aquarius because they know your secrets they ain't gonna necessarily tell your secrets but they're gonna come for you uh like tooth and nail tooth and nail and they're gonna just drag you drag you drag you until they feel like getting off out getting up off you <coughs> but i thought it was very interesting that marla was saying portia is a user and I'm like, let me see, let me see. Do we have any clips or any 
memories of Portia using people? Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, we know she was friends with Tanya into that bolo situation. And it was included that she was also getting her groove on with Bolo. And she was supposed to be engaged to her so-called uh, fiancé. It seems like the fiancé shit is just going on like a, a, a glorified relationship. Because he has yet to marry Tanya as well. And <coughs> here we are a year in. And this so-called fakery of a relationship. Buckery of uh, somebody talking about they're gonna solidify it soon, but foolishness that we never got it together and fraudulent because we just don't believe anything. He can't even get me an assignment, he can't get a blue check on his Instagram account. Let's say his account is verifiable, but he has just as many followers as Bolo <laughs> or Dennis McKinley, and it's kind of absurd. Like, did you buy those? Um, subscriptions or what what's going on why aren't you and naoni uh naoni not verified as a true holder of that account but anyway it is what it is but i was like oh lord marlo coming with the t she don't got her 100 percent stamp as a peach holder and she's just coming for the ladies left and right left and right so can you better look out too honey but then again you're seeing that's the golden child of bravo and uh, we know why you got your speck on it. Or most people don't know. But I'm just assuming. I'm speculating. She wants to throw her hat in the ring of becoming an interviewer. Or <coughs> a person having their own show. And we're <coughs> listening to her. And seeing her conduct herself in an interviewing mode. Uh, entertainers that may uh, come to her show and you know we need to know a little bit history about them and you know she's just making them feel comfortable and asking certain questions to her interviewees you see what I'm saying she wants to be a talk show host I guess it's one of part of her bucket list but <clears throat> I can't see her as no Oprah Winfrey and a damn show can't see her as no Wendy Williams so maybe she'll fall in between the middle somewhere and be like a Kelly Clarkson I guess or maybe a Queen Latifah. I don't know. But I'm like, don't put all your eggs in one basket, girl. Because hosting is something when you get the fan base and they stick with you. Because <coughs> them ratings, if they're not up to par or where they need to be, you'll be like Nick Cannon. Cut out the six months. Looking for another job. So, keep your jobs. Just in case that hosting gig, once you finally get it. Don't pan out. You see what I'm saying, can it? But Marlo was over there shading the shit out of Portia, saying she's just a user. Um, she tries to conduct herself in a way where it's kosher, but if you don't hang with or you don't agree with how she feels about a certain person, you're going to be in shit's field with her. She's not going to talk to you. And... <laughs> And then Marlo did kind of blast her out in the past when she was trying to say that Kenya was right on the uh, the viewpoint of it was some moaning and groaning going on like at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning of someone getting in their sex acts. And of course, you know, Kenya was up there being P.I., private investigator, trying to put all the pieces together. And she already had said, Portia. <laughs> was sleeping with the stripper okay she was getting it in all right and then of course Portia didn't like how she was being shown on television and talked about through social media but Marlo made a good point during her interview with Candy on speak on it uh if you do your business public you you might well think you or uh, you might well expect public criticism gonna come to you so it just is what it is you catch it you kept your shit to yourself out uh out of people's eyesight and ear sight or ear hearing you wouldn't have had that problem okay it would be almost like it never happened it's your secret and it's his secret but then again if he want to extort you for money or blackmail you down the line that's going to be held over your head okay so you did better just getting you a vibrator doing it to yourself and then it's just been between you that vibrator and the lower okay i'm just saying Hoo but that was that i i didn't know the the, the little uh what do you call it the little war between them 
<laughs> meaning Portia and Marlo, is still going on. And that may have something to do with it because Portia is no longer on the show. She made a, oh, a, a, a damn fool out of herself when she bought that Family Matters or Portia's Family Matters into fruition. And it went out smoking like a volcano erupting. You understand what I'm saying? And melting everything in sight. Yeah, she's in shitsville. When she once was promoting the show, everything on her platform was, you know, uh, what do you call it, actress and, and being, you know, her, her new show was starting and this, that, and third. She's going to be seen this way and that way. And all of it went south. Now, you can't even have a memory. If your memory bad, it's nothing there for you to even think she had a show called Portia's Family Matters. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They scraped, they scrubbed, and they scrapped everything. Thing that came to be about that show it's nowhere to be found except for people like us bloggers or other content creators that just want to bring shit out just because or like i said stuck in your memory banks because that was a hard thing to try to forget that miss portia williams was trying along with her cousin storm try to beat this mckinley up on television you know what i'm saying trying to get they punches in and we can't, can't forget about lauren either because lauren we're doing some things to dennis too and um miss darlene was calling herself jumping on dennis as well but you know it was this whole big deal everybody was saying this everybody was saying that and unless we really got the real tape and we was there when all the shit was happening that would be the uh choice of we can believe it because we saw it but you know the cameras weren't aimed at a certain way or maybe they just didn't want it to be aimed that way because Bravo could be seen liable for anything that happened to Miss Gina but we were under the assumption uh from what we saw from whatever angle we were looking at in our perspective is that um uh, Portia was trying to launder at Mama Gina and trying to like hit her or do something to her and Dennis was like uh uh we ain't finna have none of that so he was just shielding his mom who made it downstairs safely you know he was trying to fight everybody but he wasn't putting hands on nobody but uh <laughs> and that was kind of funny too to think about it when we, when it, shit was going through and that's why I don't understand why people compare the drama that went on on Portia's show versus what Candace doing out there or any other entertainer that's getting a side show off of um, Bravo or uh, the, the truly original network because you know you ain't gonna look at something like Candace and the gang and people going on about their daily lives and what they have to go through to make sure their job is complete during their time that they have their working hours are versus you looking at something where it's like the uh, re World Wrestling Federation going on. You know what I'm saying? People picking up stuff, throwing this, that, and the third. You know, they don't want to hear about good stuff. They don't want to see about good stuff like Marlo raising her kids and stuff like that. That gets boring after a while. We might can stomach it for about maybe 10 minutes, and then we want some action to be followed up. And that's what Portia's Family Matters gave. So, of course, the ratings are going to outshine candy because it's not as drama field and dramatization lies like Porsche show was you see what I'm saying or even some rescue stuff that happens on the real hospitals of Atlanta that's what we look for we don't want nobody to get hurt necessarily we don't care about their feelings getting hurt but we don't want nobody physically getting hurt but when you have a choice to watch ratchetness and good wholesome stuff half the time you're gonna go to the ratchetness side okay and repent later <laughs> But I just thought I would bring that to y'all on Marlo calling Portia a straight up user. I'm like, fam, what y'all think about that? Do y'all think Portia just have friends in her life to get her from point A to point B and then C to D, you know, until she get to Z? Do you think she just use people or people just use her? I guess that's what I'm coming to, uh ask my family about because i've been seeing you know portia you know she get in the shit and then she tried to blame everybody else for her misfortunes and then instead of her moving in silence and in darkness until she gets where she needs to be to for people to put the, sh the spotlight on her she jumps the gun too quickly you know just because something has manifested itself uh like a um, house or a car or whatever you ain't got the keys to that house yet you ain't got the uh car 
uh, keys so you can drive it off the lot. Yeah, you just got an approval. You see what I'm saying? But anything can come up between you getting your hands on the keys to enter into that new house or enter in, into that new car and drive it off the lot. Or you take the master lock off and you get your own lock and you go and start filling the house with furniture. You see what I'm saying? And that's what pretty much Portia has done you know she's telling us about stuff that she's been working on or things been coming together for her. instead of her holding up you know holding her mule and, and and still realizing that it is coming to fruition she's still like half in the tunnel half out the tunnel and you don't never know what may come up you know the money that somebody's going to put forth to make that project happen it could go south uh it could be a standstill in production you know you have covid break out again to where everybody's not really wanting to be with anybody else that could, could have an exposure to that so it's just a lot of fine details that Porsche missed out on uh to not let people know so much at uh, at a given time you know just spoon feed us until you really get where you going and then blow up and then we'll put the spot out, spotlight on you we'll congratulate you if it was worthy to be uh something congratulatory to uh speak of but it's like you know she jumping like nene and we can see how what had transpired with Nene going to Hollywood and Las Vegas, not Las Vegas, but Los Angeles and buying her little apartment out there and buying furniture. And then it all went south and she had to uh, bring her tail back to Atlanta where it all began. Her stardom or her uh, reality starship went up. And, you know, made her who she is today, in a sense. But that's all I had for this video, guys. I thought I would just bring that to your attention. And uh, we got a few more things we're going to touch on about Marlo and uh, her comings and goings with the cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta. And who's still there for her, who's not there for her. We do know that uh, from watching Candace speak on it, um, they're not good. They're not in a good place still. Her and Portia and Nene, and I can see why Nene feeling some kind of way, uh, salty or not happy, but happy in a sense. But she's just not there right now. And and uh, Marlo said it very eloquently that you know it's like Nene's on the outside looking in on uh, something she feels she helped build uh, into the franchise that it is now, meaning just the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. And uh, she can't really give her a whole heart of being happy for Marlo. Because Marlo has already really been there. But not as a peach holder. And I think if uh, Portia was still in good standards and still with the show. And Nene was still in good standards and with the show. No, they probably never would have bought Marlo on. Because it just was no seats to fill. Unless, um, I don't know. Well, they could have got rid of... Uh, Cynthia still but then they would have to release somebody else too to kind of get the money that Nene or Portia was wanting uh, to have and then you know if they bring Marlo on you know she was going to be um, having a little bit more of a plot to build on what she can bring to the franchise but I did find out uh, doing a little Google search that it seems Marlo is making like 450000 per episode. It may have increased a little bit. But that's the going rate that they're guessing that she may be making at this time. And I'm like, she do real well on this season. Her first season as a peach holder. That shit can double or triple. Just depending on how the uh, viewers of the show relate to her. Uh, and uh, the, adapt uh, the adaptability that she brings to making us like her more than other people on the show such as Drew Sador. you know I'm like Ugh, we need to get rid of her too because I'm tired of seeing her and her husband go back and forth on whether they want to be married I'm like girl give up the ghost all right let that nut go a cheater's gonna always be a cheater and that is it okay unless they want to change and what they have been giving us of her and uh what is his name? Shit, I don't forgot the name. Ralph. Uh, it ain't really worth saving. He just he doing too much for the for the show. He just doing too much, and it ain't even about him. It's about her and how she goes around with being married and being a part of the show. But that's all I got, guys. Like and love, gotta have more. Get down in those comments and let me know what y'all thought about subject topic, and see if we can dive a little bit more in or seeing what I may have missed uh, or didn't bring out. 
with this particular video. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.